Um, but we started to see that, you know, the women were, hmm, you know, a little undervalued, you know, a little, you know, and it was, it was a big gap, it's too big a gap. There's too big a gap between the men and the women. So there, there's gonna be a narrowing of that gap. And as it turned out in the past three, four, five years, women have now become, it's really taken the, the dialogue, the key dialogue of, of, in fact, a lot of my gallery friends in New York say, they only sell women artists now. It's mm -hmm. the only thing that sells. And so it's really, and so much so that there's a new book, Ninth Street Women, uh, that's a very popular book that's out about the women that painted in the 50s, 60s, a lot of these women here, that actually um, uh, Amazon Prime has just um, announced that they are gonna turn that book into a TV series about the people in this room, which hopefully will appear maybe next year. Um, so um, it took us 15 years to become an overnight success in collecting. <laughs> if you will. Um, you know, we, we've been thinking about, so why abstract expressions? I only, I only really suddenly buying paintings till maybe I was uh, 50, 50 years old. I mean, I didn't really, you know, so I never bought a, uh, bought a painting, and I said, oh, yeah, that's interesting, maybe I'll buy it. So we actually looked, and we looked, this is on the, the collection of Langley Koenig, and we, we had this locally, and Mark Borgie and Rich Hampton, and maybe, maybe Put it on the wall. We just, oh, this is so great! You know, this is, we just looked at it and said, "Gee, we could buy paintings that like music and paintings. Wow, that's great! You know, let's collect Hampton's painters because a lot of these, a lot of these women, the New York School from New York, they actually vacationed or lived in the Hamptons. So many of these artists were actually had homes or lived there, and so we started collecting New York School, but also Hamptons artists and. A lot of people collect locally, right? I mean, up here, I guess we would collect the, the Hudson Valley School. Research for you, get things for you, and over a period of time, they uh, might give you a discount because they know that they tend to want as a long-term client. And I think we have really good relationships with many galleries that look for works for us around the world. Uh, that's really important. Um, but it's funny because there's always, you can, it's, people ask me, Rick, can you really get a great buy in an auction? <clears throat> yes and no. Sometimes um, a work is in the wrong sale. Like, uh, like uh, there's a, a work that might be, um, uh, an estate might, might, might have um, uh, 400 pieces, uh, 400 lots that are in sale, and their furniture and design and, and, and tablecloths, and, and all of a sudden they have paintings in the same thing, so that could get lost, or they could be in the painting shop. So sometimes that might slip through. Uh, just just about four hours ago, I was involved with it, which I thought was an opportunity. Um, an obscure an obscure auction house um, was caught, caught my attention that they were selling an artist um, by the name of uh, Norman Lewis. Norman Lewis, the black artist in the fifties, sixties, and there was a they said, well, we have this piece. It was a rolled up canvas. It was in the Caribbean. It was in, it got wet. Damaged, you know, and we started to look at it. This is a huge Norman, 1966 Norman Lewis. What is this piece worth? Well, we did a little research. Uh, it's worth half a million dollars, and the price on it was eight to ten thousand dollars. So I got some photos of it, and we tried to analyze it with our conservatory. But just uh, just before I came here, um, the the auction was that was eight to ten by eight to ten thousand dollars. So it starts at eight thousand, okay, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand. <clears throat> Finally, it ended at two hundred thousand oh. dollars. <laughs> so somebody bought this wrapped up, damaged, just rolled up canvas for two hundred thousand dollars. So you know, so there is you never yes sometimes you can get a deal, sometimes you can't, but but it, it's fun, it's a challenge, and it's a journey. Um, and whatever, you know, whenever you, but